Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of an install on the ARB Twin Air Compressor, which is uh, right here under the Sprinter. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, I want to make the intake for the air compressor more efficient by using cooler air from inside the cab rather than inside the engine bay. And that will, uh, I think, from what I've been told uh, from John over at Agile Off-Road, will uh, make the compressor more efficient and uh, give the compressor um, more of a lifespan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take these uh, intake covers off right here and then I'm just gonna reroute it into the cab um, over there and uh, we'll get started on it. Shouldn't be too hard. I already got all the parts, which I will show you next. Okay, so what I did is I went out and bought Actually, I didn't go out anywhere. I went to Amazon and I got these uh, elbows. These are the push to connect elbows right here. Uh, on this side is the 3 8 as you can read it right there. And on this side is the quarter inch uh, fitting uh, right here, which will screw in. And I'll show you how to do that. It came with some Teflon tape, uh, which uh, we don't really need uh, because it's not, uh, it's, based, it's in intake, so there's not gonna be a lot of pressure in it. We don't have to really be concerned about leaks. Uh, and this is the tubing uh, that uh, Agile uses for their, um, for their setup, their onboard air setup, but they've also switched to the stainless steel lines, which I have over here. You can see that's the stainless steel. Uh, you, it's kind of dark, but you can see it there. But more notably over here, it's installed right here. It's dirty because we just went through some mud trails, uh, but that's what they're using now. And so I went ahead and got some extra and I'll just use this for the uh, push connects and we'll route that into the cab. So again, I got these on Amazon, a pair of them right here. I got some zip ties, some snippers, some pliers to tighten this down and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna unscrew the caps uh, for the ARB. I've already taken one off just to test fit, but I'll undo this one over here. And you just basically unscrew it counterclockwise. As you guys can see. Now the ARB twin compressor has two of these, one on each side. It's basically a disc that looks like this. Uh, and if you were to pry this apart, it has kind of like a stone disc that's inside. Let me do it over here. So it's basically two pieces of plastic that sandwich a metal disc that looks like this. Not sure if you can see that okay. And that goes in here. And that basically just sits in there and then this snaps together. And then screws in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and replace this with uh, the two elbow fittings that I got on the from Amazon. These are pretty nice quality. Uh, and I will screw the first one in. Use my ply, my trusty pliers here. It looks like I think I got them from Harbor Freight or something like that. Doesn't need to be too tight. That's good there. I'll do the second one over here. Got some wires in the way so I can't get some full turns in here with the pliers. I'll just do little by little. Now I've had this unit for about two years. It's one of the first modifications that I did on the Sprinter 
Uh, I think onboard air is really important when you're hitting the trails. <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, I got that first. I had a dually at the time, and so I had to air up six wheels, or six tires. <clears throat> All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is here's the pipes. I'm sorry, here's the tubing. I'm just gonna run the tubing through the firewall here. I know there's an opening. And that's gonna go into the cab. And then I've got a second tube, obviously. I'll have that follow through. Okay, so the first one will connect here to this one, to this elbow. And it's pushed to connect, so I'll just squeeze it in there. And we can turn it. That's good to go. The second one, I'll do a push connect here. Make sure this is good. All right, actually, I wanna clean this up and I wanna move this down lower below this line right here. So I will just release this, push this through underneath. That's the great thing about push Connects. Make sure that's nice and snug. Not coming out. Then I'll grab my zip ties just to clean it up a little bit. And that should be pretty good. I'll use the other zip ties inside. Let me just cut this off here. All right, so check it out. This is what it looks like. So you can see I've got the connection right here. These are nice because they swivel. And then there's the other one right there. So now I've got two going into the cab through the uh, firewall. Let's go take a look at it and see what that looks like. All right, so here they are. That's where they came in through. You can see right there. I'll zip tie these and uh, connect them somewhere, but the uh, ARB is gonna get uh, cooler air. Let's see if we can get a better shot. So the ARB is gonna get cooler air now uh, from inside the cab versus the engine bay. Uh, and that's gonna make it more efficient and not work so hard. So that's basically it, let me go ahead and cut these up. All right, let's zip tie this up. And that'll do it, that's where it's at. I could probably cut this a little bit shorter. I haven't decided on what I wanna do yet. I'm gonna see how it works with the, my foot here. Obviously, I don't think it'll get in the way. And my foot rests here, so I probably could cut it shorter, uh, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes.